I decided to deliberately make this video in two parts now. First part of it is to get the people who just want the process, you know, without the frills, uh, basically tell them how to replace the tube where everything goes. So I have already removed the dashboard from this car, so it gives you a whole lot of space or room to play. But these are the basics. So you want to remove the A pillar, right? Pull the A pillar down, and that covers this. It's going to expose that. Then uh, you want to go ahead and remove your door, um, your handles from here. Um, then, then your sun visor from here. I have videos for those, so don't go ahead breaking uh, breaking your stuff. Then you can just um, pull the headliner to gain access to that because it's pretty far in there. Okay. So, pull that, and it's got barbs over there, that's what holds the, um, holds the tube on. It's pretty tight, it's, you know, it should be good in itself, but you could put a clamp if you're, if you're a belt and suspenders type of person. Then you have this clip over here, alright, just pull that down. The rest of these are usually held on by some form of clips, these guys but they're pretty hard to work with so on the way back in I just taped the thing um, at first I tried to use masking tape onto that it didn't work so I ended up uh, taping the tube to the wires then down here uh, here you can see the dashboard usually hangs out over here so it could obstruct your uh, access a little bit as well as this insulate, insulating pad over here so I just pull this and this is how it sits in there. Alright, so on your way in, do whatever you gotta do, push it. So, as I said, I know it's gonna be a long video, well, a, a little longer than I wish for it to be, but but I feel like the troubleshooting as well as the repair itself is something important to talk about. So here, the drain goes in here and crawls up. I need to mention, this one is actually from the left side of the 2008 M45 and you'll see in the you know, later parts of the video that that's what I had a problem with and so for the front for the front tubes it doesn't really matter they look alike and as I said it's just a small difference just turn this thing around if you get to the other side and it's gonna work and when you install it just make sure you don't kink it you know make it any tighter than it needs to be then the back, I have not stripped the back yet, but um, that would be pretty much the same process. Remove the handle here, remove, uh, pull the um, the headliner down in the back, gain access to these. Then this one goes all the way down there. Then it shows up in the trunk, right in here. And here it is. This one goes, so this one here, you can see the tube in there. And I believe it drains somewhere in the wheel well, or maybe just down here. It's being held by something because I know I could not pull it up easily. The date is April 5th, and this is it. I'm looking at the inside of my M45, it's wet over here. This is the A pillar, the driver's side. It's wet. You can see a patch of water here. And you know, waters here and there. I think the first clue that got me thinking was that it rained pretty hard last night and I saw a patch of water in here. I knew I had not been in the car within any rainy period, so knowing what I know, I'm thinking this tube right here is clogged, this sunroof drain tube, so I'm gonna have to get into that. Which reminds me, let me check all the others. I know this one right here is good. It's dry and nice. Alright, no wetness here. So far, it's only the driver's side, a pillar that has a, a water draining problem. I mean, yeah. looking around trying to figure out if it might have been a because it's wet over here as well 
trying to see if it came from the outside or not, but I don't see why it would leak through these gaskets. The outside looks okay. Both gaskets look good, although this one has some water running and whatnot, so. Look at these two tubes over here. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll discuss what I'm doing because it's still raining out here and I just pulled these tubes. I was very fortunate to have a scrap car, a parts car here. So it's a 2008 M45 that I'm driving right now and the parts I'm getting are from a 2006 Infiniti M45. So this is the top. This is where it meets the sunroof drain and I'm going to show that later. And this is the bottom. This is where uh, you get a grommet that dumps into into the f frame of the car. So this guy right here is kinked. And I noticed because yesterday, uh, it was April 4th, we had a pretty uh, decent storm overnight. And I came into my car and I noticed, well, I actually have a video of that, a puddle of water in uh, in my floor, on my floor mat. And uh, the A-pillar trim was pretty wet, damp, so I peeled it back a little bit, and I noticed that, you know, above, or rather on the upper side, which is the hidden side of the headliner, it was wet. So, and this is what I found. This thing is kinked, which means that uh, in a decent shower, when it's pouring pretty, pretty badly, um, water will overwhelm it. It's going to be kind of like a drain. Oh, it's going to be like a, it is, I mean, it is a clogged drain, so to say, but it's not really clogged because things eventually flow through, it's just very constricted. And on the bottom end, this is what it looks like. When you have enough water, this thing squeezes open. There you go, focus, there. It's a flap. <laughs> it's a flap that just drips water through, it doesn't splash water. So, I'm going to go ahead and replace this, put this grommet on here, and put this thing in the car. And you'll also notice uh, this side has very little padding. I guess it cheaped out by the time 2008 rolled around. It was a bad year for a lot of people, wasn't it? Yeah, the other one has a little more insulation going around it. So, I'll go ahead and trans uh, transfer this to this one and uh, put it back in the in the 08 I decided not to frustrate myself so I went ahead got this one here from the parts car and just pulled it out for some reason it it just snapped out look there you go comes out much easier than the other one then this is what it looks like inside. Um, I'll go run this thing, uh, run some hot water through here, uh, just to clear it out. And now that I believe the thing is sufficiently clean, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. So in here. And to do this, I just removed, uh, un unscrew this handle here, two 10 millimeter bolts, remove the uh, sun visors, and I have videos of those. Uh, here. If you're paranoid about it, you could go ahead and put a clamp as well, but it's it's good enough. It's plastic tubes. Okay, now that that's done, go ahead and fish the rest of the tube. Okay, you're going to aim for the end here, and once you remove the A pillar, you should be able to see goes. See that hole over there? Here? That's where this rubber ga rubber grommet or drain is going to go into. And you have to kind of move it to the side because this piece of the dashboard over here is blocking it. Then you have some trim here as well. Right? You see that insulation over here? 
So, fish it the best way you can. Actually, I'll leave it loose for now, just so that I can straighten this, make sure this thing goes in correctly. The other thing I'm looking for is this. We have a clip here. It needs to be secured onto the body. peak somewhere there you go you see the hole there that's where I got the other one from so either turn the hose at the top or turn the the clip this uh, securing clip over here there you go I'm looking for the hole there Okay, push it into the hole. That's secure. Make sure nothing's kinking up there before uh, before calling it good. So then this one right here, fish it back, and you'll see uh, the white clips over there. Those just pretty flexible oh wow that's a hard one to deal with okay here's a better example so here just lift those and do that it works better with both hands but you're basically trying to put this through this gap over here this gap and do the same to the top side, and that should hold it in place. But before all that, I'm going to fish or push this drain into its hole. There you go, it's secure. I think it is. No, could always be better. Pushed it in a little farther. <laughs> nice. Clicked. And you'll hear it click. Keep pushing till it clicks. Okay. Then, we'll get him back here. And as I said, I'm going to have to put the, uh, put the phone down because it's a... Uh, works better as a two-hand job as a two-hand job <laughs>